As of the recording time of this video in May of 2024, Microsoft has released three new preview functions called the regex functions, regex being short for regular expression. These three functions are called regex test, regex extract, and regex replace. The regex test function will scan a block of text looking for a subset based on a pattern, and if that test exists, the test passes, and if it doesn't, the test fails. The regex extract function will scan a block of text for a subset of text based on a pattern, and then extract that text if it exists, and then regex replace will scan a block of text for a subset based on a pattern, and then replace that text with something different. Now I could go through each one of these new regex functions and explain how they work and give you a demonstration of their use, but my good friend Layla Garani over at XCL Plus, on her YouTube channel, she's got a fantastic video that does all of this. So instead of reinventing the wheel, I'll put a link in the video description and a card in the upper right corner so you can jump over and watch her video. She does a great job. Her YouTube channel isn't very large and she doesn't have a lot of followers, so if you'd go over and maybe like and subscribe, I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Now a bit back, I actually put together a video that demonstrated how to validate password complexity to check to see if users were putting things like capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers, symbols, etc. in their passwords. And I used a series of existing Excel functions to do that. But now I'd like to revisit that demonstration and see if we can accomplish the same thing using these new regex functions and see if we can do it in a simpler way. Now something else that's great about these new regex functions is their functionality will also be integrated eventually into the XLOOKUP and XMATCH functions. Once this integration occurs, it's going to greatly expand the capability and use of the lookup and match functions. We're going to be able to do things we never could do before, or will be made much more simple given the regex pattern matching. So let's go see how we can check that password complexity using the regex functions. So in this test file, we want the user to be able to enter a password but then check to see if it meets a set of password requirements. Our requirements are eight characters minimum in length. It must contain at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one number, and one symbol. So the user will enter the password in this yellow field, cell D4, but I'm going to write the test off to the side here in cell F3, just so we can see if it's passing the regex test. So we'll start with equals and then reg, and you can see here regex extract, regex replace, and regex test. So we'll go with regex test. The text we're going to check is cell D4, the input cell, comma, and then in double quotes, we have to supply the regex pattern. Now writing this regex pattern straight out of your brain is probably going to be near impossible. So this is where AI and ChatGPT are really going to come to the rescue. So let's go over to ChatGPT, and I'll come down here and type in a question. Like give me an Excel regex pattern for password complexity. We'll hit enter. And so we can see what it's come up with. I'm going to scroll back up. So here is our pattern. This is what we need to copy and paste into the Excel function. Now it's interesting to go through and try to dissect this and learn what all of this stuff means. But if you're not a super geek like me, you may not care. So it's easy enough just to go ahead and copy the code, go back to Excel, and then click after our double quotes and paste it. We'll do a close double quotes, close parentheses, hit enter. And so right now we're not passing the test. Let's go to cell D4 and put in a test password. So we'll do something like a capital A, lowercase b, the number one, and a symbol like an asterisk or a dollar sign, and then a series of random letters that get past eight characters. We'll press enter, and we pass the regex test. Now if we were to take something out of this test, like let's take the one out so we have no number, and the test fails. We'll go back up, put the number in, the test passes. So let's look back at the regex function again. We're checking cell D4 against this pattern, and if all of these pattern requirements are met, then the user's password will pass the test. Now, as far as this little green box here that says approved, or if I don't pass the test, it says try again. And if there's no password entered, it says enter a password. This is just some simple nested if trickery. So if D4 is empty, we display the text enter password. But if it's not empty and our regex test in F3 passes, we display the word approved. Otherwise we display the words try again. So nothing in the password box, enter password. Type in something that doesn't meet the password complexity requirements, try again. Type in something that does meet the password complexity requirements, approved. Be sure to download the solution file so you can check out the regex test function and how I wrote it and the patterns that I used. You also want to download this file because I discovered in my testing that there are certain characters that are actually used by the regex functions to parse the arguments of the function, but if you need to use those characters within your pattern, they can cause regex some issues. 
So there are very specific ways you have to describe those functions. And so I put those notes here. The space, the double quote, and the closing square bracket I discovered caused some problems if you just type them in as is. I also show the formulas that I used to create that dynamic heading, as well as the regex test function that I used in the sideline test, and also what you could put in the data validation. We've got the logic I used for the conditional formatting to create the red and the green colors. And lastly, there's an explanation of the requirements for the pattern, and then a breakdown of what each of those patterns means. You can use this to learn more about the pattern matching logic, and then tweak it for your own needs. So be sure to download this file. Thanks for watching, and remember at BCTI, the learning never stops.